What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. That's my Fender. We're gonna be making the 240 all one color for the first time in like a year, maybe longer. And we're also gonna be doing a little wire tuck sort of thing. Basically so that I can make the 240 lower without rubbing on everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Let's go ahead and head it down to the 240. Hi Brett. Okay, bye. Uh, so let's just head down to the 240. It's in my parking lot right now and uh, Start doing this wire tuck and see what else is in our way from going lower So if you look here, this is my wiring harness that runs to my motor and basically what we're gonna do is Run it along here instead of down here because as you can see I've already actually rubbed through it So I need to cut it open and tape up any loose wires that might be in there and then Yeah, then we should be able to go lower also noticing this little lip right here that I looks like I've rubbed so I might actually just slice it a bit and then bang it up but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so for now I'm gonna start disassembling this wiring harness Okay, so I completely forgot to hit record, but I just did two slits right there and there. So now we're going to bang this down, or up, probably up. Yeah, we'll smash this up to pinch it against here, and then the wiring should be able to run up like that. I'm also going to be re-wrapping all of this in some nicer electric to electrical tape so it's not all sticky on the outside. And then we should be good to go. That's basically how our harness is going to run along with this one. This will go up here as well. So yeah, I'm just going to drill a couple extra holes right now just so I have places to zip tie to and then we should be good to go. Um, it's looking real good. Like this harness, this is probably the best wrap job I've ever done. Nobody's ever going to see it. Okay, so we are all wrapped up here. Um, I might actually have to pull it off and re-tape um, one of the lips or something, but I'll probably just do that off camera in a few minutes. I got my hood latch reset up. Jack's here. Hi, Jack. Yep. 
So yeah, this side's done, so now we have to do something else, which includes painting the fender, finally. So yeah, my 240 is finally gonna be all the same color. Um, it might be a bit off because it is just a uh, spray can. Just waiting for him to come back with some primer and then we're gonna get right into that. Then we can throw the fender on and then I'll do the other side, but that'll just be off camera. You've seen me do one side already, so yeah, let's get right to it. Hi, okay, it's the next day. Uh, we ran out of time yesterday to paint. So, yeah, I uh, basically sanded it down, cleaned it with some degreaser, and now we're gonna start with primer because it is a black fender, and apparently you can't just spray red on it, according to Damien. So, yeah, we're gonna start priming. We're basically going full sense here. Gonna prime it. Sorry, sh getting on the panel. Nice. There's a sh falling from here or something. You need to wipe it down again. Trap, yeah. what if Fat Burger sponsored Fast and Sweaty? That would be dope. And we all got unlimited. Unlimited. Free breakfast for fast life. Fast and burgers. Oh, why are you eating straight bread? Because that's all I'm making. Straight bread? Again? This works out perfect because you're tall, I'm short. So I see all the bottom parts, you see all the top parts. Yeah. Oh. You might have a primer to do Hello. What is going on with your comb? <laughs> <laughs> I was cleaning inside these. <laughs> Travis, come look at this thing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all mocked. Tra the the Trav. I'm just kidding. Okay, so, so we're looking. Oh, on camera, you can't even tell. It looks clear as day. Look at that. Yeah, it looks great. Mm. So I have a mask on my face. It's going to be kind of hard to hear me, but it looks really, really good, obviously. So we just did our last coat of clear. Damien went a little heavy in some spots. So yeah, on camera, you can't really tell. Oh, yeah, right there. You can just barely see it, but yeah, it looks so much better. Anything is better than black, so what Damien was saying. There's some more down here. Um, is that if we just let it cure for a couple weeks and then we'll wet sand and polish it and it'll look way better. So yeah, I'm absolutely pumped. So we're just gonna let it dry for a couple hours and then. What's on this? Water and soap. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry for a couple hours and then throw it back on the car. And then, yeah, we'll update tomorrow morning when it's on the car. Because by the time I'm throwing it on the car, I will most likely not be able to film because it'll be super dark. So yeah, we'll update in the morning. So, this is the fender on the car. And on camera, <laughs> it looks very, actually, honestly, like, so this door has been partially repainted because my car was rear-ended uh, a while ago. The fender to the new paint on the door actually looks really close, so that's kind of nice. Um, it's a little orange peely, but you can't expect much more from a in-your-garage job. So, I'm really happy with it. It's better than black, that's for sure. So yeah, I guess it's a proven fact now that you can actually paint in your garage, as long as you don't really fully care about quality. 
you're good. So that's gonna be it for today's video. As per usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.